I'm very privileged to be talking with Uma Alexandra Bipat today. She's truly a powerhouse of all sorts of healing modalities. She's the CEO of the Lotus and Light Metaphysical Center in Northern Virginia. She's a soul alignment coach, a intuitive consultant, and a metaphysical teacher providing services and classes in a personal, spiritual, and metaphysical development. She's worked with over 10,000 people in the last 12 years, and she's in the process of writing her second book. Uma's a certified practitioner in access bars. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today, along with the modality called IET, which is integrated energy therapy. And we're going to talk about her first book as well, um, called The Awakened Life. So I really hope you enjoy this discussion. It's, it's really a good one. It was channeled to him how to do access bars. And what he found in his channeling is that we have 32 points on the head that when we just touch them, we don't have to press in hard. You just touch them. It starts to release mental restrictions and limitations on certain topics. We're usually in our thirties to fifties, right? So when you think about you have to clear 30 to 50 years worth of garbage of things that don't even belong to you of judgments that you don't really even believe in, but maybe your, your parents believe in it or your culture mm -hmm. or your society. Right. So you can do a lot of clearing in one, but Gary Douglas actually says, if you commit to getting 10 sessions, it will change your life for the better. Right. So a lot of times when you come in for a session, you come in feeling heavy or, you know, upset or whatnot. And by the time you leave, you just feel joyful, peaceful, and happy. And it's reworking the mental mindsets on how you think and view things in this life. Well, it's so nice to have you today. Um, so from what I understand, you are a, I'm looking at my notes, the, yes. you're a soul alignment coach, a okay. intuitive consultant, yes. um, a psychic mediumship mentor, and an author. Yes. Right? Um, you are, you, you practice approximately 40 different modalities, healing modalities. Yes. And you're also president at the Manassas Holistic Chamber of Commerce. That's correct. And you probably do a couple other things also. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> so um, it seems as if you stay busy and, um, and you know your stuff. So it's, I'm very happy to have you here with us today. How did you get on this path? Why, why do you do what you do? That's a good question. Um, natural progression. So when I was little, I always wanted to own a spa. You know, I would give okay. my parents uh, little facials and, you know, back massages. Um, I just love taking care of people. And when I was little, I would do that and say, when I grow up, I'm going to own my own spa. Uh, because back then, that's all I thought I could do in terms of the self-care, healing care kind of business. Well, as I got older, uh, I did go into, I have a master's in healthcare management. So I did go into the hospital field where I worked for a long time with hospital pharmaceuticals and private practice doctors. Oh, wow. and then okay. after, yes. And then after I had my kids, I thought it was time for me to really pursue what I'm really passionate about, which is again, extreme care for people, which you can't really reach in the healthcare industry. You need to do something more one-on-one. -on -one. So I became a massage therapist. And I started my first business in 2009. It was Lotus Signature Massage. And I did strictly massages. Uh, being in the healthcare, in the massage therapy field, you have to get a uh, continuing education credits every year. Right. So that's how I started exploring other modalities that were more energy based. So I first started with re reflexology and Reiki. And then it just kind of grew into the other things. So yes, I am certified in over 40 modalities, but it was part me learning for my licensure that I needed. And then gotcha. also just curiosity, you know, like, Ooh, what is past life regression? Ooh, what is IET? And right. just uh, <clears throat> being able to take it because I was able to with my, with my license and requiring continuing education credits. Um, during the time that I was working professionally in this field, I started to develop personally. So I started taking better care of myself. I, I became a yoga teacher. So I started doing yoga every day. Mm -hmm. I meditate every day. And I think like when people really start to have that sense of, I'd like to evolve, then the, the progression starts to continue on, if that makes sense. That's so true. I just, I did not come out here trying to be a metaphysical teacher or a psychic mentor. I did not come out here trying to be an author or anything like that. It just, it was things that just naturally started to flow and happen along the years. And 
here I am. I own, a, I'm the CEO of a metaphysical center, my own, and I've written books and I'm just really enjoying this path that I'm on. Well, that's so cool. It seems like ever since you were a kid, you have, you've had your eye, eye on what it is you're doing now, which is fantastic. But me, me I, I didn't even believe in this stuff. You know, a lot of it anyway, a lot of the energy work, it was, right. uh, I used to kind of uh, poke fun at it. Right. Until, right. until I had um, a couple experiences in a row and I was like, Oh, there's, there's something to it. Right. And then I started doing so. some research and, um, and now here I am doing my thing, helping to promote these often energy-based um, yes. healing modalities. Yeah. So, well, well, thank you once again for, for being here. Let's say, so we wanted to talk a little bit about, let's see, what do we have here? Um, access bars. Access bars, one of my favorite modalities to teach and to give my clients. I am absolutely in love with access bars. Well, please tell us. I know, I, you know, I absolutely know nothing about it. So I'm anxious to hear, hear what you have to say. All right. So, <laughs> so in a nutshell, and I have to remind people, I'm not a spokesperson for the company. I just am a certified practitioner and facilitator through them. So uh, if you really want all the information, you want to go to their website, accessconsciousness.com, and you can get like all the information you need. But basically, uh, access consciousness, access bars came into my life about 2015. A fellow center owner, uh, Gina Mayberry, she owns Intuitive Wellness Center. She came to me and said, Uma, I just learned a modality that I think you would like. And of course, you know, the spiritual seeker in me was like, of course, I'd love to try it. And she gave me a free session and I felt so many things shift within me. The most important thing I noticed was I just felt more peaceful and more light right. about everything. And I said, I, you're right. I got to learn about this. So I went, I took the class to become a practitioner where I can give services to people. And then I just felt the need to go on further to become a facilitator where I actually teach the classes so people can learn it for themselves. Um, we wow. have a motto at, you know, at Lotus that we follow. It's not our motto, of course, it's a popular one, but we follow it at Lotus and it's why give a man a fish when you can teach him to fish. So a lot of the classes I teach at Lotus is really more for people's own self-development. And then every now and then I'll get a person who is actually a professional healer that would want to come in and take more courses to add to their repertoire, but mostly it's for people to help themselves. So access consciousness is the parent company. Okay, the creator of Access Consciousness is a man named Gary Douglas, and he has a partner, Dr. Dane here, uh, who also works with Gary, and they have many classes under that modality's name, Access Consciousness. The very first class that anybody takes uh, when you want to get into this lifestyle or to, to this behavior is the Access Bars class, and that's what I'm focusing on talking about today, because there's many other classes I've taken with them. But the bars class is the prerequisite before you can go on to other things. Nice. So the idea is that uh, it was channeled to Gary. And this is not something uncommon in my line of work. You know, Dr. Os Mikeo Sui, who created Reiki, his Reiki lineage, it was channeled to him how to do what he does. Vianna Stebal, who created Theta Healing, it was channeled to her how to do Theta Healing. Um, St Stephen Thayer the creator of IET, it was channeled to him how to do it. So that's not like something uncommon. Gotcha. Gary Douglas, it was channeled to him how to do access bars. And what he found in his channeling is that we have 32 points on the head that when we just touch them, we don't have to press in hard. You just touch them. It starts to release mental restrictions and limitations on certain topics. Okay. So um, money, you know, people have uh, judgments about money. That's kind of limiting them and keeping them back. Um, love. So there's a particular place on, yeah. on, yeah, on like the head money, that if you, it, it taps into your the, the money area? Correct. The, the money area is here. It, it's mm -hmm. a, okay. It sounds a little like uh, cranial sacral therapy. I get that a lot. Is there and, a little crossover, I guess? No, because okay, what I did. <laughs> no, because what I did, I, I always like to test things. So when I explain this to people, everybody pretty much goes to craniosacral. So what I did was I had a friend who does craniosacral and we would trade every Friday for like six months, you know, every Friday we meet for six months and I would give her access and she would give me cranio. Cranio is great. I love craniosacral therapy. Every time she worked on me, I felt great. I felt nice, but that was it. I just felt good in the session. I worked on her with access. She, everything in her life changed. 
She moved out from working for someone to working for herself. She uh, never had been in a love relationship and she was in a love relationship to the point where they got married. Um, She just started to really blossom. And that is what the goal of access is because access and access consciousness, we believe that there's nobody that can stop you, but yourself. And it comes down to the limitations we have put in ourselves. So what I like about access is that it's not talk therapy. I have been in counseling before I've seen, you know, psychotherapists and life coaches, and I have not had a lot of significant change in my life, but through access without even talking about it, I had a lot of significant change in my life. My business grew, my love life grew, my health got better. But again, it wasn't by me having to talk about it. It was by me just obediently lying on the table and allowing myself to have a practitioner work on me and remove those limitations without me even knowing about it. So a lot of times when you come in for a session, you come in feeling heavy or, you know, upset or whatnot. And by the time you leave, you just feel joyful, peaceful, and happy. And it's reworking the mental mindsets on how you think and view things in this life. Before we used to focus on the healing, but now we're seeing like Dr. Joe Dispenza and Greg Braden and all these greats come out with, it's all about the mindset, your thoughts, right. create your reality. So yes. they're focusing more on techniques to change your mindset about things. And that's where access would fall in under. So it's different than craniosacral, you see, because that's more focused on the energy and the healing. Gotcha. Um, so how long does a session typically take? About an hour, hour, hour and a half at my center. I do an hour because you can, um, if nobody, if someone has never had their bars run, I've seen people lay on the table for two hours, just having all of that dispensing, you know? Um, but of course people aren't going to want to come in and lay still for two hours. So I just recommend usually an hour would be fine. So is is it typically a, a multiple process or a multiple session? therapy or oftentimes does it happen in just one sitting or one lane, I guess, in this case? It's definitely multiple. When you think about the fact that a lot of us have lived lives at this point now, most of us are in our thirties, forties that that are listening to these kinds of podcasts or, you know, in the vicinity of us, we're usually in our thirties to fifties, right? So when you think about you have to clear 30 to 50 years worth of garbage of things that don't even belong to you of judgments that you don't really even believe in, but maybe your, your parents believe in it or your culture mm-hmm. or your society, right? So you can do a lot of clearing in one, but Gary Douglas actually says, if you commit to getting 10 sessions, it will change your life for the better, you know? And okay. I've gotten more than 10 sessions and it's completely changed my life. So with my clients, I always tell them that Gary Douglas, the, the creator, the founder says, get at least a minimum of 10 sessions. But if you just wanted this one session and come whenever you want to come, then do that too. I'd rather somebody gets it at least once right. than never have it at all. Well, if you can ex- experience even just, I mean, it's all people you often use the analogy of the, the onion peel, you know, peeling yes. off different layers and there's many, many layers to an onion. Right. But if you can experience um, just one of those layers being removed, um, I mean, then you're going to go back for more is my, my guess. It actually has happened like that. So I do um, another thing of access that I do is access energetic clearings. And I do that by phone because there's a lot of my clients can't get to me in Manassas. So they want to get the experience of access, but they can't come in for a a session with me. So I would do like the clearings by the phone where that's where we're talking. um, And I'm just doing it like more verbally. And this is what I've noticed. The people that have come for 10 or more sessions in the beginning, we are clearing restrictions they have on perceived problems they have. Once we move those out of the way, wow, other things start to open up like that proverbial onion you were talking about. We start to see like a whole different ball game. Like I've had people come in uh, wanting to be cleared about work. And then by the time we're done with a session, they're talking about, you know, um, low self-esteem from childhood, right? Right. And again, I'm not a counselor. I, you know, I am a life coach, but it's just interesting just by clearing people where they go to next. Cause I'm mm-hmm. never, I'm never asking them, Oh, what happened to you as a child? Like, I don't care. Right. Respectfully. Right. I just, <laughs> yes. about, you know, removing these limitations that are blocking you from moving forward. And as I'm clearing them, next thing I know, they start bringing up memories. I'm like, Oh, wow. I, you're clearing me about how my boss treats me at work. And for some reason I'm thinking about how my mom treated me and it's similar. And I'm hmm. like, ah, okay. So let's just 
uncreate and destroy that, you know, so that way you don't have to keep repeating and having people come in your life to, to heal that. That's amazing. Well, it sounds yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty good. Um, I, I don't know what IET stands for either. You made a mention earlier in, in the video yes. and, and I actually also had a note um, to ask you and I didn't earlier. And then I want to hear a bit about your book because that's, that's pretty fantastic that you uh, have written a book. Oh, thank you. Okay. So IET stands for integrated energy therapy. Uh, it was created by Stephen Thayer. He actually learned Reiki. Uh, he's an engineer and he learned Reiki for himself, for his own self-development. And while he was uh, taking this trip down the Reiki lane, Archangel Ariel started to channel towards him. And it was very strange for him too. He's an engineer, but he kind of like accepted it. And then he learned uh, about there are nine cellular memory areas on our body that hold pain. And he was taught how to remove the pain and fill it with lighter emotion. So for instance, in IET, we start at the head where we call in Archangel Raphael to remove guilt. And then we imprint innocence. So we go through the whole body where we work with nine healing angels and we remove the heavier energies and we, we replace it with lighter energies. I like to say it's kind of like Reiki with angels. So people who are Reiki tuned can understand it. You go through a class, you get your attunement, and then you can work on someone And then we have specific techniques, the way that you have specific techniques in Reiki. So that's a great modality uh, to help with people who have emotional pain, you know, heartaches, breakups, regret, loss, disappointment. Um, That's a really great modality to help people that are having, you know, just a hard time letting go of emotional pain. And that's the most of my clients that come to me for IET. I actually have a special this month for September for IET, because uh, this is, this tends to be a transition period, you know, as we move into the fall. Right. Um, and I noticed that people's energies start to dip as, you know, it gets cooler and the sun starts to go down more. So I like to do IET specials around the fall to kind of help people with this transition process. I see. Yeah. That sounds nice. Well, <laughs> it um, is. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the title of your book? The title of my book is The Awakened Life. All right. So here you go. My, the title of my book is The Awakened Life. And there's a kind of nice. really interesting story about this. It's published by Balboa Press Publishing. Okay. But what's interesting about this is it wasn't supposed to be a book. Um, back in the early years when I was doing massage and really just massage Reiki reflexology on people, when they would come to me for sessions, you know how it is when you have like a barber or a manicurist, you tend to talk about your life to whoever is working on you. Right. So my client would talk to me about what they're going through. And I would just, I would be in the moment, to be honest, it would, the music would be playing. You're in this beautiful room. Um, I'm happy doing the work that I'm doing. I'm getting paid. You know, it, it was just like a nice feeling. So in that elevated place, I would just give advice or tips or suggestions based off how I was feeling. And every single time my clients would say to me, Uma, you really should write a book. Cause you always say the best things, the, like things I need to hear. But the minute I leave, I forget all about it. So after like, maybe, I don't know, the 200 person telling me you should write a book. I said, you know what? I will write a book, but it's not really meant to be a big thing. It was just meant for my clients and my students. Mm -hmm. So one night I got up like two o'clock in the morning and I just had all the ideas and I wrote from 2 a.m. till 11 a.m. And I pretty much finished the book. I had the outline. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was just flowing. Uh, And I said, you know, if I had if I had to leave a legacy behind, what would I want people on the spiritual path to know? And it's, so it's my story. It's, it's my story about what I encountered back then and how I moved through it and just giving advice and a little bit of, um, there's the chapters end with a little bit of place for you to reflect, you know, so you can write and reflect on things. And it was just kind of like a a cute little thing for my clients. So I self-published on Amazon through Create Space. And then I would talk about it really in my classes and to my students, and they would buy the book and use it. Um, Then I got this offer with Balboa Press Publishing to publish it, to republish it. And they did. And they gave it like this nice cover and everything like that. And then, you know, it it just started blowing up on its own. It it got featured in hand catalog. Uh, people are calling me asking if, if you know, I want to make a movie out of this, or, you know, if I want to go with like a real agent, it was enough. It was enough for me to just write it and just have it. It's on Amazon. It's on uh, Barnes and Noble online and target online. I heard, 
Uh, but it's enough if people hear about it and it, it just speaks to them and they say, you know, I kind of want to check it out. It's like $8, I think. And it's very small. So it's something that you can literally finish overnight. Right. You know? it's, yeah. But that was, that was the story of the book It's just, <laughs> it's really my life in the earlier years. Uh, I'm actually doing an interview on Monday about it. And I told the interviewer, I said, you, you read it but I haven't read it since 2014. So you have to remind <laughs> me what I wrote because I've learned a lot more things since then, you know? Well, thank you for all that you do. Thank um, you for having me, Lauren. This has been wonderful. Really enjoyed yeah. it. I appreciate so. you. Thank you so much for what you're doing. And thank you, honestly, for giving a platform to holistic practitioners because I think the world needs to hear more from each of these practitioners. Um, thank you for doing that because we can all grow and elevate together. <laughs>